Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and today we are talking about this cool new app that I recently found out and that is Craft. As an avid user of Notion, the app instantly felt like home. There are a couple of advanced features and functionalities that separate the two and made me switch to the Craft. First of all, I want to talk about the simplicity and the cleanliness of the Craft app. As soon as you open the app, you will see the minimal design, very simple fonts and overall great feel. We have our navigation on the left and from here we can organize different things of our life like I have created two separate spaces one for my YouTube projects and one for personal life once you are in a space you will see all the documents on the home page below that you have start pages I like to start those pages that I'm currently working on then you have unsorted pages which are not in any folder and last but not least we have templates so you can create some templates for your workflow and those would appear here however i would like to draw your attention to their pre-made templates which to be honest are there are a lot of them and very well designed have a look so we have all these templates just like notion below we have our pages so here we can create folders subfolders and even sub subfolders as you can see i have a couple of them also we have different sections at the top like we have a calendar so if you like to add a note to the certain day you can do that then we have the search and notifications so if someone mentioned you it will appear here now let's talk about the pages itself you can create beautiful pages if you know how it all works first things first each page consists of blocks so each line or paragraph you type in is a block you can drag it up or down to add headings or other items like images, PDF, etc., you type forward slash image. Then you just select your image. The great thing about this app is that you can create sub pages in your pages. For that, just click on these three dots and select add content. You will be taken to the sub page that you just created. So when you go back, it will appear like this. You will be able to see the title of the sub page on your main page which is looking neat however you can add flair to it by making it a card to make it a card just select that and click on this formatting icon on the left and from here select the card or if you are a keyboard ninja you can use command shift l command shift l once you do that you will see this pop-up where you can customize it the way you like now some styles are limited to pro users but free ones are also good enough. After we are done click apply style and the card will appear like this. Again like a paragraph you can drag it and move it any way you like. Now if you want to customize or format your pages you can do a bunch of things from the right hand side like from here we can add empty blocks, snippets, formulas, text, separator lines and files and recently they have added tables. So now we can even add tables. To format the text we can click here so we can change the text to title subtitle and headings or we can change it to bold other than that we have a bunch of formatting options the text like we can change the text we can change color and fonts then we have page formatting like if you want to stylize your page by changing the background you can do that there are a bunch of presets to choose from and you can also add your image plus you can have a cover image as well Below that we have page information so we can start a page and see the location and time of creation. And if you like to add comments then you have that here. Also you can move the blocks up and down which is not as helpful as doing it with a mouse. There is much better way. Plus you will see these shortcuts all over the place in the app. So if you want to take your productivity to a next level you must be using these shortcuts. It's good to see that Craft has added shortcuts for almost everything like making checkboxes, titles, toggle lists, italics and much more. You can find all of that on their website. Last but not least we have Craft X. So in Craft you can use extensions to enable that just go to preferences and enable Craft extensions. Right now they have a couple of sample extensions on their website for developers to check out but maybe in the future we might see some awesome extensions. Once you are done with the pages you can share that to the internet just go here and click create. Now you have a link to the article which you can share to anyone. You can also add passwords, expiry and if you are on the business plan you can add your custom domain as well and you can enable search engine indexing. That's cool. 
From here you can also export the page as PDF, print, image, etc. Again, some PDF features are limited to the paid plans, but at least you can export them to the free plan. Now, as the app was originally designed for Apple users, we get the functionality of shortcuts as well. You can create custom shortcuts to make your life easier. Like we can create a shortcut to open today's note. One more feature that will make some privacy heads happy is that if you have Apple device, you can store all your data locally. I mean, you get the option to store your data locally or you can store your data in iCloud account. When you create a new space, it will ask you to what to do with that. So yeah, that's about it. That was all about the app. Now let's talk about the pricing. As you know, they offer free plan, which most of the people and I are currently using. And it's good you have all these features plus one GB of cloud storage. Now you are limited to one user with free plan. And if you want to have multiple people on board, then you have to take the personal pro. With that, you can collaborate with up to five users. Now you can see a complete list of features on this page, which I will leave it down below. And if you are a student, then I have a piece of good news for you. Right now, they are offering five years of pro plan for students, but that's been it for today. I think it's a great note-taking app and worth giving it a try. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe. Bye-bye.